Well, that was a tale of two halves. Uh, you know, uh, for 30 minutes, we were digging the sleepers out of our eyes. Um, we didn't have a lot of emotion. We didn't have a lot of uh, physicality. I think the first 25 minutes, they played their brand and they were very good at it. Um, I think we got a little frustrated against their physicality and against, uh, you know, we couldn't score, so we got a little, we got a little frustrated. But as I told the guys, I said, guys, the game is long. The game is long and we'll give ourselves a chance. We made a couple of uh, adjustments. And the biggest adjustment in sport is attitude. Attitude, energy, resilience that our men showed. At 26, I think we're down 26. I bet everybody in here thought the game was over. When you have the power of trust, belief in one another, amazing things happen. I thought the ball had a little music to it when it started to move. Sound like little Barry White out there when the ball was moving. Everybody's voice got deep. Everybody got energy off of it, right? So, you know, credit Kinetic, they're playing as well as anybody in the country, right? They made some big time shots. I mean, our defense still has to improve, but I was proud of our guys on how we responded. I was really proud of our guys on how we responded. It's a lot of teams that that, that would have been a 35 to 40 point loss. Goes to tell you the fight of the organization of our players. So, you know, I definitely know we're a tournament team for sure. We're 100% a tournament team. And this, and this league has several tournament teams. Just to play in this building with the energy and excitement, this is a quarterfinal game on a Tuesday, uh, you know, at 2.30. Tell me another arena in America, another conference in America that has this level of excitement for a game like this. That's why the Big East is special. That's why this building is special. And that's why the relationship between the Big East and Madison Square Garden is unique. There's no other conference tournament in America that's this great, not good, great. Questions? Right here in the middle. Yeah, Coach Cooley, I remember you said um, in a game earlier this season when, when you guys came and played St. John's during the regular season how the Big East Conference Tournament is like one of the best college basketball conference tournaments in the country. And just seeing you, how you were trying to hype the crowd up and trying to get everybody behind you, just knowing you know, you're Providence born and raised and you know, you're coming back coaching your hometown school. Like, how do you think that's going to carry on uh, depending on where you guys are seated in the NCAA tournament? Well, I know we travel really well, and we're going to need that energy um, to play here. And, you know, both, both, both teams were well represented here. You know, Connecticut travels really, really well. And if I can just back up a little bit, the fact that UConn is relevant, again, is the power of the Big East. The reason they're nationally ranked and what they've done is you've seen a total transformation of the power of the Big East brand at its greatest. Because to me, I think they're the best team in America. Brendan, down here. This is for Bryce. Bryce, um, over here. Um, how much was it your comeback fueled, not only by maybe an increase in the attitude, but also trying to speed them up a little bit, try to avoid getting them half-court situations? And maybe was that part of the problem in the first half? Um, I think a lot of it had to do with you know um, us applying pressure to them. Um, you know, I feel like once we got in our press, you know, they started, you know, rushing and turning the ball over. So, you know, that we fed off of that and, you know, we got out in transition, um, you know, but playing out in Madison Square Garden in this tournament, you know, it just means a lot. You know, it hurts that we couldn't pull it out because um, it was just so electrifying to play in there, you know, in front of all of our fans that traveled out, you know, but, you know, we'll be back in the NCAA tournament. You know, we're going to come back harder. In front here. Coach, just five days ago, you had a situation where Seton Hall really blew the doors off you, and today had a similar situation, and you talk about the attitude. Um, how impressed were you with the attitude to, for the, these guys to not allow something like that to happen again? Processing your question, we definitely didn't play well as we wanted to in our last home game. But you got, you know, in sport, you got you to have amnesia, but you got to learn from it, right? Um, and it also shows you the character of the group. We could have easily packed it in. We could have easily gave up. But um, I really praised our, our players uh, and the organization about just the resilience to come back against the, to me. And obviously, I'm very, very biased toward our Big East. But I, again, all of you guys got all the answers as all the writers, right? Tell me a team in America playing better than that team we just played. I don't. I, and, and, and I'm a basketball junkie. I don't see one team better than the University of Connecticut right now. Two more right here. Thank you. Coach Cooley, just wondering, uh, you mentioned that being a tail two halves. I was just curious, 
what was the, the message that you were giving your team in the locker room at the half to give them the jolt? And then also, when you guys made that run to come back, what was the emotional roller coaster that you were go thinking at that time? Well, I talked to our men about the game being long. The game is long, right? It goes fast, but it's long. That's like, you know, there's waves. You got to be with able to stand a couple of Mike Tyson swings, right? Right. I mean, again, they were throwing haymakers. They made 13 threes. The fact that we were this close and then making 13 threes is, is remarkable by the men. So you got to give them a lot of credit. They made some tough shots. They made timely shots. And Caravan's shot, I think, was game, set, match. I think Hawkins three late in the shot clock on the right side of the floor. So you got to give them credit, too, right? You got to give them credit. They earned that win. So we'll do the best we can. We'll sit back on Selection Sunday and see where the fires are going. Don't be surprised if you see us in the Final Four. Brendan, last question. Ed. Um, just the decision first to uh, not go with Jared in the starting lineup, and also, what'd you like of the uh, Corey Jaden combination down the stretch there? That's a loaded question. Um, we try to put the best unit out there that gives us the best possible. You know, that's why as a team, it's not so much who starts as who plays. Jared played a ton of minutes. Um, we felt we needed a little bit more size against their size, so that was. I mean, that had nothing to do with anything other than trying to give us our best opportunity. And then our younger guys are really developing. Jaden is developing. Corey Floyd is just continuing to grow, 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 and develop. So that's uh, that's the process that these young kids have to go through. It's not where they're going to start at the beginning of the year because they weren't ready in November. But it's March, and great things happen in March. Providence, thank you. Thanks, Ed.